guys, Fasman Jones, and welcome back. Uh, so last year I invited uh, Yona and Morgan as guests on the regular episode, and I've been thinking that I want to try and introduce a new future to the channel because I've been thinking of how to help this channel keep going and, and to make content that you guys will love and want to watch. So I decided to make a new future that I like to call Fasman Jones, and and basically. That will be the guest that I talk to in this episode. So think of it as like a chat show or something like that or other podcasters. It's just the same thing and it'll be a certain topic each episode. And I just want to make it fun and enjoyable. And there may be bits that we might disagree with and that's okay. That's okay. We want to make it more exciting for you guys. So... Let's uh, get started. My first guest is Alexander, and this episode is all about uh, classic and revival news. So we'll be talking about a few topics from, of course, Patrick trying to uh, the new era coming up with Russell Davis. And I hope you enjoy this. And without further ado, let's begin. <music> I'm very good, yeah. Hi. Hi. So, Doctor Who, um, when did you start with Doctor Who? Uh, back, back in, like, uh, I think around 2009 when when Doctor Who was started being broadcast on, on, like, creation TV channels. And and we got up until, like, the end of Series 7. And after that, not much, except, like, Series 5 to 9 being on Netflix in here. But that was taken off. By the end of January, January two thousand sixteen. So yeah, uh, rough history. Yeah, I I began back in two thousand six when David Tennant was the Doctor. So I was, it was uh, it's quite unusual because there were there were, there were trailers, there were promos, and I thought, and then I remembered seeing them in two thousand five. I think I did see a bit, but from two thousand six onwards, newer, I was in. The Doctor community and and I I guess I joined right in 2016 2018 yeah, on on social media because I wasn't on until I was like uh, quite old because I was still a young viewer and yeah 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 so for like first Doctor I think it was I don't know it's probably like Eccleston or Tennant depends on my earliest memory. But, but but we're like family claims it was like talent. So uh, what can you do? Poor Eccleston, Eccleston, even though I find him superior. Yeah, yeah. So I want to talk about. Uh, have you seen Classic Who? Uh, have you? Yes, uh, I act. Uh, I actually. I'm actually up to date with the collection range, and I have lots of Classic Who DVDs. I'm enjoying the classic series. I mean, from the collection sets, let's say I've. I've seen like I think over half of Classic Who now, and I'm enjoying it. Uh, and after watching the entire McCoy era, he's my favorite. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I I I I guess it was around when when Elizabeth Sane came back into Doctor Who back in 2006. Like something after I got a DVD from Tesco, uh, and then I I I I've started, and then, I, and then I, I started with the Time Warrior back, which was. Um, Probably also had Elizabeth making her debut, and I, I'm not as a uh, class crew fan as I know a few, a lot of people are. But what I love it, but what got me into class here was how good the Time Warrior was because it had some Tarans, it had it, it had Surgeon, it had John Pertwee. It was the four package, it, it, I, and also it just felt. With Iron Gone and his men, I actually found them quite camp, but they were just so hilarious. So they were just, I was like, there's just so many memorable lines from that episode. Yeah, uh, but how I got into the classic series, so I started in 2019 with the Macro Terror DVD. I, yeah, I, I love the Macro Terror. I think it was like my first proper full classic story being the animation. And then... And then I just started to collect the DVDs because I enjoyed it so much. 
Yeah, like, like yeah, I think we're both kind of similar with that um, because we both start with revival and then we get into classic later. I feel that it's mostly what we one who fans do is we start with it and then we go into classic. But then again, there'll be viewers that start back in the nineteen sixties and have been fans since. And that's what I love about this show is because you can go, you can join at any time and still get into the era that you might miss. And I think that's very impressive. Yeah, uh, and uh, yeah, and and there's that charm in the classic series which I do like. It's 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 very uh, good, yeah, and and the writing is there, and and with the uh, budgetary issues, it shows. Yeah, I just like that charm where it's where it's so sort of like kind of goofy. Yeah. Places. Yeah. Uh... I think with the classic here, what I love personally is there's just something about there's this old fashioned like moments, there's old fashioned personalities, especially in I would say maybe the 1960s and 1970s. And I still find them quite rememberable nowadays. And if I watch like uh, the way Sarah Jane often, they often call Sarah Jane, and then I liked it when she would have a go at them. And they yeah. would, and, and she was just, she, 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 she just had everything to Sarah Jane. She, she was amazing. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, uh, I, I really enjoyed the Tom Baker era as well. Yeah, oh, he, he, he's like very fun and charming and, and is very like uh, quick to things and has that humor. I actually like him as well. I mean, I feel like one of my favorite, like, I'm gonna go to like maybe the key to town where I liked the fact when he was challenged with Romana, it felt like it felt like something different, something unique, and it was the first time I think he was very challenged by his new friends because he would often have like people from different parts of the universe and Earth, and then K9, and then Romana comes on and she just takes over. I, I, I just love seeing Tom Baker give that passion, and Mary Tam, she was amazing as well. Yeah, uh, I I really enjoy uh, Ramada, but 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 the Ramada I'm more familiar with is is the second incarnation, first incarnation not so much. Yeah, let's um, let's talk about the Second Doctor because I I I watched a few. Um, what would be um what Make Country Trouton Zero stand out to you? Oh, uh, Troutons. Wait, no, which in here? Sorry. Uh, uh, Patrick Troughton, I mean, a standout from his era. I think at the moment, uh, it it is probably Evil of the Daleks. I uh, I love the main plot and how the Daleks are portrayed. Yeah, I'm. Um... I feel like I love I love I love episodes from Patrick Seaver were like I feel like the main base, the mind rubber, and of course the seas of death. I but I think what is sad about the class here is we see with William, we see with Patrick, they had lost episodes and, and that's kind of really sad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I I always thought the exit at the war games was was like sad. Yeah, it had that touch. Yeah. Um. Let's um. So let's talk about some companions of the class hero. Um. Who? Which companions do you think stand out to you from the classic hero? Hmm. Good question. I mean, uh, um. Ace, Sarah Jean, Jamie, uh, I think, yeah, top three. Let's take that as my top three. Yeah. Um, I would say ones that stand out for me are, I I think Barbara Wright is one I think that stands out. Uh, Ian Chesterton as well. I think they really stand out. Uh, Jamie and Ace, I 
definitely agree with you on that because I think Ace has that youthness. She has that personality. But what I love about Jamie is I just find him so funny and he's just hilarious. Yeah, uh, he, he yeah he he's like very uh, funny with, with with his like Scottish nature. And um, yeah, and, and and the way he's like portrayed is, yeah. is like very funny as well. Yeah. Um. Let's. Uh. So now. Uh. Let's talk about uh, some of the store acts from the classic era. We had key the key to town. We had, of course, the East Base, the uh, the Master of Being Reborn, Trial of Time Lord. Which one would be your favourite? Oh, good question. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, as much as I'm very fond of the East Base trilogy, it's going to have to be uh, Trial of a Time Lord. Yeah. What what makes it stand out for you, the Trial of the Time Lord? Well, I, I, I like how it's like four different stories merged into one. Yeah. And and it's basically like a season long uh season, making and obviously make making it longer than Dalek's master plan. Yeah. Um yeah, and I really love the soundtrack, the way like every character is portrayed and, and how everything is like interlinked. Yeah, I I love I what I love about it is it's different and of course it's it kind of puts a new perspective on the doctor as a whole and his what he does and of course him having to be put on trial and, and there's so many great characters introduced. For example, we've got the Valiar, we've got the Inquisitor, we've got Savon Lit, and it's it all ends in this Amazing, and I know people often. I know the finale deserves a lot more credit because of what happened, but I think, given the fairness and the color and the success, I actually felt that I was good. I and I like the master being involved, and it made it you know very fun, and it it it, it, made, it made him like oh, I want to have this. I want to try and mess up the doctor like the master normally does. I just Love that. Did you enjoy the master's involvement in the trial? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I it, I love how how he's like goes in the story, and and him like uh, giving away the main twist. Yeah. Of the entire story. Yeah. Did you think the Valiad was a great villain? Mm, yeah, I would say so. Yeah. From what I remember, it's been yeah. so long since I watched it. Yeah. yeah. Now we're going to uh, move on to Revival Who. Um, let, let's. Um, what are your thoughts on Revival Who as a whole? Uh, yeah, it's very good. Yeah, he 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 he's a great character. He's basically like he he's basically what what the Dream Lord was. Yeah. And yeah, but actually, uh, the Doctor. Like a secret incarnation. The Dream Lord, he's he, he he's just kind of there. Yeah, yeah. I I think with the Marvel Who, I think for me, what I love is it feels like it's still the same old show, but also it's got it just has a modern twist. You've got like we've got people being represented in different communities. We've got you know first female and first black doctor and and it, it you and, and of course there are more real life episodes in it as well. It just feels more up to date, but never takes away the magic of the original era. Yeah. Um. So let's talk about um. Um. Let's talk about um. Companions. Who would be your favorite modern companion? Ooh, modern. Um. I mean, after seeing Classic Who, my love for you Who dropped. Uh, so, um, hmm, probably would be a tie with Graham and Dan. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm a big Eccleston and Chibnall fan. Yeah, same. I'm, 
I would, I'd say I love Triple Zero. I, 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 I just love it because it has something different, something unique. I get the public don't enjoy as much. And I, I think that's happening in the shows I'm currently watching as well. I, I think there's just something real. Like like you said with Graham and you like Graham Dan, I love them as well. My favourite would be Yasmin Khan. I I feel like her story has something unique and she comes out, she's not used in the first series, but I think when she's used later on in the series, it kind of helps her story a bit, even though people might not see it. it it's 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 a divisive approach, but I like how Yasmin was written. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I'm a fan of the Chimino era mostly, and I prefer to the Morphin era because the Morphin era, ever since uh, Series 6 started, uh, the Morphin era immediately went down the drain. Um, I tried to join Capaldi, he was decent. I'm sorry, but he he was okay. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, that's as far as I will go. Yeah. I, I mean, I love I, I love Matt and I love Peter, um, but I will say I do feel, if I'm going to be honest, Peter deserved way better in his last series. I felt because I loved the darkness. I loved him with Joe Coleman. He was amazing. They were amazing together. Um, I do I do actually feel like Moffat. I do actually kind of agree with you and everyone else who says about the Moffat. It, it, it just, I think sometimes when you, we've also got to remember he had to do the 50th back in 2013, and I think a lot of people did struggle with season season seven, and I and I and I can totally understand that. I feel like maybe more, but I felt like I love his characters, I love his doctors, um, but I felt something at the end was missing. Um, Personally, with me and with Moffat's relation, because I love season 10, part one. I love that. I mean, most of it's amazing, but when I get to the second half, I feel like something, I, I, lost, I lost something. And I think, I don't think Jodie coming after kind of helped in that perspective. But yeah, I feel like I do understand where, I understand Moffat's not, a media, I understand people obviously were switched off and that's understandable. I mean, I think it's the same with the Chibnall era people or obviously people didn't enjoy it and were cut off. But I think that what the beauty is of the current series, uh, of, of such as, even if, if you don't like something, like you weren't a fan of Muffet, you came back and loved the Chibnall era, it allows you to come back and Enjoy a new era. Yeah. Uh, so, Moffat era, um, not a big fan. Um, I, uh, uh, I I hated how he, uh, uh, as each season progressed, he, he basically kept patting himself on the back as if he, as if he's done something good, but he, he, he basically just made the show more dull and uninteresting. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I can understand. And um, yeah, it will happen. I mean, I like we have Russell T Davis. Um, I love. I got into him. I love him. I, I think at one point I did, um, go out of love with his era. Maybe it's just because of my me growing older, or maybe other eras doing better. But what I love now is I think, and this is actually a good point is that certain of the shows I'm watching right now are restoring my faith and also show what could help me enjoy his uh, second era. It, I, that's that's what I think. But I do agree, Baby Muffet did go different, but it just didn't work out. And of course, I think the viewing figures, uh, I feel like when it comes to popularity, um, Russell D. Davis knows how to pull in um, views. Um, um, what, do, what do you think about that? Mm, yeah. Don't know, really. Very mixed. Yeah. Let's um, 
I want to talk about uh, the um, um, the six people from Russell T. Davis too. Um, when David Tennant was announced to return, what was what was your thoughts? What was your your reaction? On on turn of turn, well, uh, when when they posted that uh, bloody two hearts plus something again, yeah. then I knew it was gonna be dumb. I don't, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I was just basically patiently waiting, and then, and then I had a mix of emotions by by yawning for a solid minute and laughing, um, because I expected them. Um, not really major because, yeah, the, 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 there's literally been that leak. I think, yeah, I don't know. I think it was like around they were announced. So yeah, it was expected that they would come back anyway because it's Russell T Davis. Yeah, yeah. I I heard the rumors back a few months ago. I wasn't I wasn't the biggest fan of them returning, but I think now I'm like. I'm okay with it. I feel like there's potential they could do something amazing with it. Um, I think it could help me with um, David's lost appearance in, in the end of time. I think I think there's potential with this. I mean, all they've got to do is, you know, get the right story or get the right writing. Uh, David's performance is also going to be amazing. I think I think they could do something good with this. Thing. Yeah. Uh... We just go away. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I think this was the like only shot at at getting people again to watch the show. So I mean, I, I mean, I guess Russell T Davis took the sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, because I think a lot, of, a, a lot of people joined during his run, and I just, I think a lot. From what I can say online, I see that he's he's, he's a very popular showrunner, uh, and a lot of people seem to be getting back into or also maybe join the show. I think, um, if we're talking about some of like the cast news that uh, we've got, for example, we've got Jinx Monsoon, we got Shi Gatwa, we got Yasmin Finney, and they look like they're going to get new viewers as well. So. Maybe we might be getting back the views. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like popularity is like growing again, especially with uh, with the Disney deal. That's yeah. gonna help a lot as well. Yeah, because I watch. Well, once even now, I watch a lot. I watch a lot of shows on Disney Plus. Like I watched the Bad Batch that just finished. I'm currently watching the Mandalorian, and I. And, and and I think there's so many good things about um, this post, but there also can be some negatives. Uh, but what I love about this post, and I think what could help Doctor Who is, they, is if Doctor Who can get onto uh, the top screen where they show the face, it would that would be a good sign for Doctor Who, because and it means yeah. we'll be getting interested. Like. They have the Mandalorian on up there, uh, Mum Family, which doesn't happen. Which that's on there. It 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 would be a good move for the show. Yeah, I I I I feel like it, it, they will do just fine with the Disney deal. So yeah. Yeah. Um. What are your thoughts on um, Shuri Gatwa being cast as the Doctor? Uh, I've I've like never heard of him. Until the announcement, yeah. uh, so I was like, "Oh, cool! I, I'm excited." Yeah, because I didn't know who he was until that. So what I saw, what I saw, it and that, you know, I was like, "Oh, yo, this this like could be pretty interesting." I can't wait for the fourteenth Doctor until. October until the night of October twenty third, twenty twenty two. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm I feel I, I've watched him in a Sex Education, and I think he's got something unique. He's he's got something exciting. You know, he's in Barbie this year. He's playing uh, a Wonder Kens. I think he's just got something unique. He's he's fresh, and, and I think I I'm kind of only a few years younger, him, but I think. He might be another doctor I personally can relate to because there's a what there's I'm about to 
actually this I'm in the middle of shooting and a Millie Gibson so I feel like this new movie could be like we could end up being a favourite and I, I, I don't know I just feel excited for the fresh new talent and the relatability as well yeah I I, I feel like the like chemistry uh, uh, chemistry is gonna be very good just like just like in the old days yeah I agree. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm glad we're going back to just to um, a Doctor and fan because I feel like even though I love the Chip Marina, I do feel there may have been too many people. I think that's what kind of might have switched people off as well, I think. And I also think the lack of episodes was also another issue with that. But I feel like with what I love about Jewels is when they deliver with something they can deliver very well and I feel like this could be like I, I, I feel like this could be the time where I finally love Russell T. Davis's writing because I do give him a hard time but I feel like this could be his big break in Doctor I really do yeah yeah so uh, I'm also kind of glad the like uh, duo Fingers coming back. I mean, I I enjoyed that like four person TARDIS team, uh, like what we had in the Troughton and Davison runs. I feel like that was a nice way to harken back to the older eras. And yeah, yeah, and I think that was like one of the main issues anyway. And 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 most of the time the characters were just like standing in the middle. Yeah. Of the TARDIS. I- yeah, I actually agree. I, mean, I, I, I can understand what people are saying because I've seen um, a few people on Twitter and I do agree. Mm-hmm. But I feel maybe maybe that wasn't the best way. I mean, um, um, yeah, I think that will be maybe an issue as well. Yeah. I think, yeah. Um, so uh, how, how excited are you for the sixth year? Cricket noises. Mm-hmm. That's how excited I am. Yeah, um, enthusiasm. Um, uh, I'm only excited for the villains, honestly. Uh, the the 60th at the moment feels like it feel, feels like new episodes for series four. Yeah, um, and I'm excited for shooters as well, and some of the guest cast. I can, I guess, and yeah, I I I I'm just gonna wait till the regeneration on Christmas and yeah. finish 14. Yeah, I. I love. I I feel like I feel like because of the break, and I think because um the Mandalorian that is coming on is 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 really getting me so excited. They I know the last episode would have been divisive for the viewers, and I will be talking about that at um some point. Um, but yeah, I think maybe for me, I think the Mandalorian is just and the Mandalverse in general is probably overshadowing the because I do like the fact that we don't know much. I think maybe the nostalgic this is gonna not help um uh, is 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 something that a lot of viewers actually will be excited for but at the end of the day I feel like from what they said that the first episode will be more nostalgic and then the next two I think for me have more excitement because I, I don't know what's happening and but I do and I think I'm excited for Yasmin Finney and Ruth Manley uh Bert Crippens as well but I do agree, I'm actually quite excited for Series 14, actually. I mean, I feel like, I don't know, I just feel more excited for that. And we've got Gemma Redbird return, and of course, we've got Jinx Monsoon. It's just, it's just, I just feel more excited for, for Season 14. And I think, and I think a lot of fans kind of feel the same way, but they're still excited for the Sixth But that's understandable as well. Yeah, I'm more excited for shooting, but I'll still watch the 60th. Yeah, yeah, I will too. Um, so, what have you got any um favorite? What would be your? Is there any other episodes that stand out to you in Doctor Who? Uh, series one finale and Remembrance of the Daleks. Yeah. My personal favorite Doctor Who stories. Yeah, um, for me, I would say Heaven Sent. I feel like, I know people might not like that, but for me, Henson has something unique. It has a style. It, it, I don't know, it's just Pierre performances. 
it's just as best. And I think also the recent one, The Power of the Dots, I just felt that it just had a lot of things going for it. It just, it, it still stands out to this day for me. And I think that's the thing is sometimes when you have the, uh, an episode that you like, it could easily hamper the next one. But, uh, but it's still, it's still, it's still something great to, to watch. And, and I still think that last uh, scene with um, Joey Mandel is probably one of my favourites of all time. I just feel so emotional. And and the passion and and from what they've said behind the scenes, it, it just makes me appreciate their chemistry and, and that scene a lot. Yeah. yeah. Um. Right. So I'm gonna say this in the nicest way possible. I'm not like a massive fan of that like relationship thingy they had. I think it was done the last minute. Series eleven, uh, there was just nothing. Series twelve, we. We started getting su- subtle hints. And then Series 13, uh, more subtle hints. And then Eve of the Daleks came. And uh, I was just... I forgot. I, I, I probably went like... Uh, oh. Uh, well, that's a bit late, given we have we now have two and a half episodes left of this yeah. era. So I, 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 th- I think the timing was the main issue, but I wouldn't have minded... If it if it wasn't to go the like series two direction, I feel yeah. like it would have been okay. Yeah, I I think that's the thing is I feel I also agree with the main segment that they should have more time. I think if they had more time, I think I think maybe it might have got a lot more recognition. I know there has been a lot of talk about it being queer bait and stuff like that. But you know, it's I think like a, like like I think I like it happens and but yeah i do i do agree with you it needed more time so yeah so um thank you for joining me yeah you're welcome and i hope i hope i hope, I hope, I hope you come back on the podcast at some point because i do i did enjoy this and uh, yeah soon okay so uh see ya bye yeah bye 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 Thank you, Alexander, for joining me on the podcast. It was a good chat, and I hope you enjoy these episodes when where I talk to guests and we talk. Uh, there'll be a few more on the way, so don't worry. There will be more, uh, and I hope you enjoy my next episode and the episodes after that. Once again, thank you for joining me on the Fashion Jones. Please message me what. You would love to see on the channel going for what episodes would you like or what podcast would you like me to talk about it can be dot two or if you're a star wars fan and want to talk mandalorian or the bad batch that kind of stuff reply to me on the fashion jones comment section or on at fashion 22 on twitter or on facebook i'm looking forward to hearing from you thank you for listening and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>